What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got three-leg parlay for Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Here at Pitch Dogs, are the most free pick videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button, drop a like, it helps us out a lot. If you want the picks like the best, picks like the most picks that I bet myself personally, go to pitdogs.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video, and you'll find all my plays there. I love a good parlay. They are fun, but the real money in this game is straight single bets and bankroll management. It just is what it is. I wish we could get rich off these parlays, man, but it is tough. Uh, to hit three parlays over and over again. So if you're really serious about the game, um, check out the premium picks. We swept the NBA board last night. I was pumped on that. The games right now, I'm recording this on uh, the Tuesday during the nighttime. I got like my full slate of games going on right now, and I'm not going to lie. It's not looking too pretty tonight, boys. Uh, but it is what it is. We're going to bounce back. And the games aren't over. Like I have the Celtics tonight. I have the Celtics, and they are, they are getting smoked by the Cavs. Totally read that one wrong. Uh, but this parlay I got here, two NBA games, and then I got another uh, NHL game. I did an NHL play for my last video. I'm going to start adding an NHL play in because I've been hitting them just on, like, my bets. This I, I've just been doing, like, a late-night NHL game. Just, you know, trying to get better at the sport. Um, and I've been hitting them. So I'm going to start including them in these parlay videos. Uh, so let's let's start this off. Let's start with the NBA. We got this game versus, uh, with the Nets versus Suns. And I'm going to take the Nuts plus the points here. Uh, right now, I'm getting it at plus five and a half. I like that a lot. You know, Phoenix, they are playing the Warriors uh, Tuesday night. So they'll be on the back end of a back-to-back -back with this Nets game. I expect that Warriors-Suns game to be competitive. I expect it to be a close game. So I think fatigue's going to play a factor here. I love taking, I love fading teams who are on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. You know, the Nets, they're going to be on a, a night of rest. So they, they will be the more rested team, even, even though they're, they are playing on the road here. The Suns, they've been a bad ATS team as of late. They they failed to cover in five straight games. Um, I think they're four and one, or one and four straight up in their last five games as well. So Suns are in a kind of, kind of in a skid right now. It should be interesting to see what they do against the Warriors tonight. But uh, when it comes to the Nets, you know they're one of the best cover teams in the league. They come into this one 16 four and one ATS. That's incredible. This team has been an absolute money maker. And when it comes to the Suns, they've actually have they have a losing record on the road, which I was pretty surprised. They're five and six straight up on the uh, or at home. Sorry, they're five and six straight up at home, which is surprising. I mean, this this Suns team is loaded with talent. Uh, for some reason, they they're not really putting it together too well this season. Uh, they did get Bradley Beal back, uh, which is huge, and uh, Kevin Durant is questionable for tonight's game against the Warriors. I don't know what his status is going to be against the Nets, but this Nets team just grinds. They figure out ways to keep games close, so I'll take the Nets plus five and a half. And next, we got this matchup between the Sixers versus the Pistons. I'm going to take the Sixers minus 11, guys. I mean, I'm blindly taking the Sixers in, this, Sixers in this one. The Pistons are just horrible. I keep fading them, and I keep making money, so I'm going to keep doing it. We saw uh, the Sixers beat the Wizards by 45 points on Monday. That is crazy. Uh, this, this Phillies team is not scared to beat up on teams and blow them out. They showed that on Monday. 45 points is a lot. Of points to win by in an NBA game. Do I think they beat the fit Pistons by 45? Probably not, but I think they could at least beat them by double digits. So I just don't see how the Pistons keep up. I, you know, the Pistons, what, they're on a 20 game losing streak at this point. I'm, I assume they will win one of these games at some point, sometime soon. I, they they have NBA talent. They will win one of these games soon. I don't know which one it is, but I doubt it's going to be against the Sixers. So I'm going to take my chances with the Sixers laying all those points. Last but not least, I told you guys I have a hockey pick. Got this matchup between the Devils versus the Bruins. I think this is going to be a great, exciting game. I'm looking at the total here. I'm going to take the over six goals in this one. You know, we have two teams that are ranked top 10 in goal scored in the whole league. The Devils have been in a, a lot of high-scoring games this season. You know, they they score a lot of goals, but they also allow a lot of goals as well. And we, we all know the Bruins could, could get the puck in the back of the net as well. So I think we see both teams scoring. Pretty freely in this one. Um, I can see this being a 3-3 game at the end of regulation. And then, you know, if, it, if, the, if the over is 6, 6.5, 3-3 three, three is, is what we're looking for. So give me the over there. All right, let's recap this parlay. Leg 1, got this matchup between the Nets versus Suns. Give me the Nets plus 5.5. Leg 2, Sixers versus the Pistons. Give me the Sixers laying the 11. Leg 3, Devils versus the Bruins. Give me the over 6 goals. That will do it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to... See some more free picks as well as learn a little bit more about me. Go follow me on Instagram at BradwinsBets. But most importantly, subscribe to Pit Dogs, man, because we're just trying to win you guys some money. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.